Message to Tony Bellew. Tony. Right. If you don't fight Alexander Usyk at £200, right, your career is going to be known as the biggest waste of space ever. You're going to be a fraud in boxing. You don't deserve a fourth pay-per-view if you move Usyk up to heavyweight. Fight him at £200 and get an elite win on your record. He's only had 16 fights. Now, when you were fighting cleverly in your 16th fight, you were screaming, screaming, blue murder there. You was a novice. Now, Usyk's had 16 fights. But he can fight, can't he, Tony? And he's a southpaw. We all know what happened last time you fought a decent southpaw, don't we? You've only fought one guy who's been elite, and he iced you. Ice, ice, baby. Nobody's saying you can't fight, Tony. But you need to fight Usyk at £200. We don't want to see you move Stevenson up £25 to fight for your old WBC belt. We don't want to see that. Stevenson's a light heavyweight. We don't want to see you fight him. He's 41 years old. We want to see you fight Usyk, a young lion. We want to see you with an elite win on your record to justify... These four pay-per-view fights that you're having. Frotch only had three pay-per-views. The guy fought wars. You need to fight somebody, Tony, and get an elite win on your record. Because at the moment, I don't see a win on your record. Davy Day shot to bits. You beat him twice. Well done. You did what you had to do. Cleverly, you dragged him up £25 and won in a split decision in a stinker. Fight Ersk, Usyk, whatever he's called, fight him at £200. Don't be getting Eddie to save your neck with all this. The WBA have uh, thrown a mandatory in for Lebedev. Since when has the WBA wagged Eddie Hearn's tail? Come on. We know what's going on, don't we? You're looking for a way out. Well, I'm asking you, Tony, on behalf of all hardcore fans and the people in the boxing industry who all know that you're a fraud, but they're not going to say anything because they all want to work with Sky. They all want to work where you're, where you're working. But you can't keep saying you're best cruiserweight in the world because you've got a win over Macabo who put you on your ass. And before Macabo fought you, Bell, you, he was in the ring with a guy ranked 600 and odd on box wreck. Come on. Fight Usyk, be a man, get a legacy win on your record. You've got a chance to beat number one pound for pound fighter in the world, if you beat Usyk. Come on, you can do it. Don't be bottling out or thinking, uh, why should I pay sanctioning fees when I can fight for no belt? Because you don't need a world title now to get on pay-per-view. That's what's fucking wrong with this pay-per-view model. Too many of you thinking you can bend rules and fight for no world titles and fight shot guys because you've got a bit of a story and a bit of an history and because you flipped a few tables over. We want to see proper fucking fights. Usek is a matchroom fighter now. You're a matchroom fighter. I mean, you push the narrative enough, don't you? Fight Usek at £200. So what if it in a, a, a WBA belt online? All other belts will be online. They'll still be undisputed. And nobody rates the WBA anyway. It's a load of crap. Fight Usyk and get a legacy win on your record. Or at least you tried. Then you can go to your grave knowing, well, at least you had a good, didn't you? You're still going to get the same money whether you fight him at Cruiserweight or Heavyweight. But if you beat him at Cruiserweight, you get the legacy, don't you? If you don't fight him at cruiserweight, everybody's going to say you dragged him up to heavyweight. Same old Tony Bell, you, innit? You don't want to take a risk, do you? Get Usek fought, Tony. Be a man, not a mouse. Tata from your pal, Big Porky.